All right, you see right here, we got a place. It's another little place in Union City. That's not our honey hole, but I'll- Welcome to the trenches. I didn't get that garage sale. I, I left my phone in the car and I don't have my camera with me, but uh, I was on my way to Muncie to uh, meet up to sign some papers for a game show that I'm gonna be on, so you guys need to stay tuned for that. But uh, I found this right here, this uh, Kids Carhartt Real Tree Camo Jacket. I got it for five bucks. Um, you can't go wrong with a Carhartt for five bucks. Even little kids ones sell pretty well. Uh, this one right here, I should be able to get 35 to 40, 35 to 45 dollars out of it pretty conservatively so yeah definitely a good score for five bucks a nice little five six times my money and uh yeah it'll sell quick and don't take up a lot of space so even kids clothes sell especially kids carhartt this will be the second kids carhartt i've sold i've had recently i had a turquoise one that sold pretty well and now i know these real tree camo ones are definitely bolo so yeah on to the next clip but uh, decided to go ahead and got bronze in the 200 meter. Good change. And also, Sydney McLaughlin again broke her own world record, towering over the 400 meter hurdles. 50.37 seconds last night for the Vendor Olympic title. Teammate Anna Hutro. By 1.5 seconds of gold and silver in that particular event. Let me grab this guy. Let me grab this here. We got it for three dollars. That's cool. Putting that on the podium in four events, including the women's long jump, Kara Davis Woodhall, Jasmine Moore, gold and bronze, as well as Grant Holloway, the gold and men's 110 meter. What's this? Oh, it's a grill kit. Look at that. Golf clubs. Top flight. Yeah. Under forever. T.T. Rodriguez, the popular mm. golfer known for his fun-loving antics, died Thank you. yesterday at the age of 88 at his home in Puerto Rico. Okay, so that's what we got there. We got that sky, we got that uh, imagination Skylanders online comp. Say it's about 25 30 bucks. Got it for three dollars. Wii U can't beat that. So, you dropped that. Oh, I know. I was trying to figure. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out where my money. Got some wiggles figures. Got a great team. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Get on that. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, I didn't bring my camera this morning because I come to get a haircut. Didn't think I didn't plan on finding any rummy sales, but we found a couple here. So I got these Wiggles figures. I paid two dollars each for them. As long as we get home and they work, they should be they should be pretty good. I've seen them go in the neighborhood of twenty five dollars a piece or so. I got this in that bag. There's a Sony Handycam. Um, I'll uh, pop up a comp on it. It's doing $40 not working, and it's doing like $140 working. So it's really good and clean. I'm going to get it home, get the battery charged on it, and see if I can't get the power on, make $140 on that. And then have even a little Nike backpack. The little Nike half-pint backpack will probably make back most of my money alone. So I'll probably make $15 just off that little half-pint backpack. So that's not a bad stop for the day. You know, spend $18. It's going to do really well. So we had another one here, uh, 
I stopped here earlier and I got a Hoosiers uh, sweatshirt and a Colts sweatshirt and saw this jacket and had to go get more cash. So I got this IU jacket, $8, Stephen Berry's. Grab that. Here it is. Make sure there's nothing else I can't live without. That's right, eight dollars. Yeah, look at that. That thing's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, and you know what time it is. We're at the post office. This is a Saturday, so it's a little used, unusual for me, but I uh, had a bunch of stuff sell last night, so let's just get right to it. This right here is a uh, like a Rubik's Cube branded uh, puzzle called The Missing Link. I picked this up on the 127s for like $2. It sold for like 17 so that's pretty cool. Um, this right here is CDs. This is a stack of... Uh, um, Alice in Chains CDs, a uh, lot of three that sold for like 17 bucks or so. We got another lot of CDs right here. This is a lot of five Metallica CDs that sold for $25. Um, this right here is a lot of uh, three Limp Biscuit CDs that sold for like $17. Very cool. We've got a Nightmare Freddy Funko Pop in this box right here. Then we've got the, uh, this is a Golden Bear. Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, the Golden Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, action figure. This sold for like $33. This is one of the pickups from the recent Spider-Man sale. Again, uh, paid a dollar for this pack of Marvel Motion cards, and it's unopened. It sold for um, $19. We get down here to the two articles of clothing that sold. We got us a Pantera shirt that sold for like uh, $35, I think it was. And uh, we got this... 2004 James Stewart uh, motocross tee that sold for like 40 or 50 bucks on Poshmark. I paid like $3 for this at my little honey, honey hole in uh, Union City. So, yeah, a lot of packages going out on a Saturday. So, a little weird for me, but I'm getting them all out, you know. So, uh, back to the big one. All right, we're at another stop here. The little honey hole. Wasn't too, wasn't too good today, but I was actually surprised. These 2006 John Cena champion shirts bring pretty good money on the WWE hybrid tag. There's ones where he does all over print. He brings like a hundred bucks. And there's another one that brings like seventy. I think this one right here is like in the twenty-five to thirty dollar range, but not bad for three dollars. And it's double sided, you know. The, the big hit on the back of the chain gang. Uh, I think that's what it's called. But yeah. And then we snag this uh, vintage. Must be a Russell Athletic kind of day. Because oh no, this is a majestic. So never mind. So we snagged this vintage majestic Purdue uh, basketball jersey for uh, three dollars. And I should get you know. 18 or so out of it so that's not not bad little pickups for just a couple little you know mom and pop thrift stores but uh yeah on to the next all right you see right here we got a place it's another little place in union city that's not our honey hole but i'll i stopped there from uh what a couple friends of mine told me i might find some good stuff here so i did i spent seven dollars and i got this houston astros vintage russell athletic um diamond collection authentic sewn letter jersey and then i picked up this uh russell athletic um diamond collection size 48 san diego padres jersey so yeah we uh for seven dollars i paid i think it was three for this one yeah three dollars for that one four dollars for this one right here seven dollars i believe it or not baseball jerseys sell really well for me so yeah definitely worth the stop thanks uh, dave and richard for telling me to swing by here because i Definitely scored it. All right, and we are back at this little thrift store I found in Union City. Um, back again, you know, after those baseball jerseys you guys just saw, I had to come back in here and check out and see what else I could find. So let's just start heavy here. We got, to, look at this vintage Levi's denim jacket. Got that bad boy for uh, for $3. You can't beat this vintage Levi's size 48. Great size. Fall's coming up. This will probably sell out real quick. All right, what else do we got here? Look at this right here. I've never seen one personally. Like you got yourself a vintage Buell motorcycle shirt. It says you got the Buell hit right over here. Buell motorcycles right on there. It's missing a sa sa sag. It's missing a size tag, but it's still thick color. You know, it's a little vintage. Yeah, that's a nice one. All right. This is pretty cool. 
You got that Virginia Tech, the Hokies, I think that's what they call it, Coliseum, quilted puffer coat. Got the big Virginia Tech hit on the back. Yeah, that's a steal right there. And then look at this. I, I find a lot of Christian Dior over in this area for whatever reason. Anytime I've ever found any, it's always been over here. So here we got the Christian Dior size XL uh, knit sweatshirt, knit sweater. And uh, yeah, I got this for $4. And then last but not least, we got the Kango Terry Cloth hat. Um, I spent $13.50 in total. And this Christian Dior will sell for $25, $30 bucks pretty easily by itself. I've, I've sold other ones in that price range, if not a little more. Um, probably $60-some on that Levi denim. You know, $18 to $20 on the uh, Buell shirt. And then uh, on the quilted Virginia Tech shirt, I mean, uh, coat, probably $30, $40. Bucks. So that, on top of those two baseball jerseys, this place is just, an, just a honey hole. What's up and what's happening, Internet people? It's your host of The Most Snow, the most electrifying man in thrift entertainment, and uh, I got some more behind-the-scenes footage for y'all today. Um, well, firstly, we'll just, we're right here at Brad's store. Uh, it's called Price Busters. Uh, I've plugged it on Facebook a few times. Make sure you check it out if you're in the area, Marion, local. But then our stop today is right here. We are at Skin Magic Tattoo, um, and we're going to be going in here and getting another tattoo, and I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. So hope you enjoy this bonus content. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna head in here and we're gonna see the lovely Tamara and uh, get her to inflict some pain on me. So here we are. We are at uh, Skin Magic. We are in uh, Marion, uh, 3405 Southwestern Plaza. Make sure you check it out if you're in the area. How are you doing? How are you? I'm doing all right. You want to introduce yourself here for the viewers yeah. who are watching? Hi, I'm Tamara. I'm the owner of Custard, or excuse me, <laughs> Skin Magic Tattoo. Okay. And uh, she's going to be inflicting some pain on me today, so I'll bring you guys along. All right, so we've got the stencil put on right here. You're going to get Stryker's name on my chest, you know, keep him close to my heart. Uh, no matter how much mommy tries to keep you from me, you're always right there. So uh, we got the lovely camera here. How long have you been tattooing? Um, a little over four years now. A little four years, so I'm in good hands. I ain't going to... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. There's that sound again. I, I prefer the old school tattoo guns with the yeah. coils, the eh, but... You know, it's a new world, I guess. There we go. Don't even hurt a bit. You are light-handed. <laughs> Moving, moving right along. So what's the strangest place you've ever had to tattoo on somebody? Mm, I don't really know if there's any strange places, but I've tattooed a few butt cheeks. What kind of tattoos does somebody get on their butt cheeks or their hands? Uh, it was actually a croc that said croc of shit. And it was a kayak that said, yippee kayak, yippee kayak, motherfucker. Yippee kayak. I was, I was just about half expecting that classic, your name. Yeah, you know? I haven't got that yet. No. I've heard of it. I used to, we used to have someone that used to work in the shop that had that. And, uh, yeah. We fading these letters up from black to blue. So we got the bottom half of the coloring done. So what letter are you on so far? Uh, we've got uh, most of the blue that transitions. Mm -hmm. Now we are starting back over on the last R. Kind of finish that line for the blue transition. Mm -hmm. It's like a darker blue, so it kind of makes that black kind of fade out a little easier. Gets that blue that you're wanting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> blue outline. The color really pops. What are we doing now? Are we switching? We're switching over to a flatter set of needles. It's actually less than what we were just using. There's seven in this one, but it gives me a little bit more coverage with the way that it's set up. See, in my experience, the more needles, the less painful. See, I agree with that too. It is a little bit of a hot take. Some people really hate the shading part. I can't stand the outline. But... Yeah. 
But whenever you get all single needle work in prison, it's like... You get used to a little bit, huh? Yeah. A little bit sensitized. She's finally done it. She's found a few places that are tender. <laughs> I knew it all couldn't be a pleasant experience. <laughs> You're doing great, though. And we've made it to the, uh, about the end of the tattoo. I have to say, it's the first time I've ever been tattooed by a woman, so. <laughs> and sorry, Brad, but she's a lot lighter handed than you are. <laughs> there it is. That blend, from what I can see, looks really good, too. Thank you. Yeah, let me get it cleaned off here. You see a little better. So if I heard Brad correct, is that that's your mom over there tattooing? Mm-hmm. How long how long have you been tattooing, mom? Mm, Twenty years. Twenty February. years. Yeah. yeah. You enjoy working with your daughter? Oh, Every, yeah. yeah. Got got a little girl power thing going here, huh? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Some little bit of on there. Yeah. Looks good. Let me uh, let me wash my hands real quick, and then we'll get back on. Okay. All right. All right. So make sure you guys check out Skin Magic in uh, Marion, Indiana. I think it's was it 3407? 3405. 3405. Western Plaza Avenue in Marion, Indiana. Don't put Uh Especially if you want somebody who does a light-handed tattoo and you don't want a lot of pain, this is this is the way to go.